What's up guys, welcome back. Today I'm gonna to show you my recipe for lasagna. But before we do that, please take a quick second to subscribe to the channel. I'll be dropping recipes like this each and every week. Now let's get to work. Going in with a little bit of olive oil, some sweet Italian sausage, about a pound of 80-20 ground beef. Go ahead and cook that through. We're gonna go in with some chopped basil, a few dashes of cayenne pepper just to add a little bit of a kick, a few aggressive dashes of Worcestershire sauce, And then once the meat is cooked through, we're gonna go ahead and strain some of the fat, preserving about a tablespoon or two for your diced celery and diced onion. Go ahead and sweat that down until the veggies become tender. A little bit more Worcestershire sauce. Some fresh chopped parsley and some fresh chopped basil. A tablespoon of garlic paste. And then we're gonna go ahead and give that a nice mix. Make sure everything is well incorporated and the flavors can marry or date if you're afraid of commitment. Now we're gonna go ahead and deglaze the pan with some delicious red wine. Of course, it's not fun if the cook can't have some. Go ahead and cook that wine down. Make sure it reduces by half. It's gonna take about two to three minutes. Make sure that nothing burns on the bottom. Just keep moving it around a bit. The wine adds a lot of flavor, but it's definitely optional. At this point, we're gonna go ahead and add back in our meat. Stir it to incorporate. Your kitchen should be smelling absolutely amazing by this point. Get everything off of the sides. Going in with a can of tomato sauce and crushed tomatoes. Give that a nice mix. This pasta sauce or bolognese, which is Italian for meat sauce, can be used for any uh, pasta dish, really spaghetti, baked ziti, stuffed shells would be good for all of that. I went ahead and added some Italian seasoning, a little bit more chopped basil, some red pepper flakes to add a little bit of heat to balance out that sweet sausage we're using. And then we're just gonna let this simmer away for a bit. The longer this cooks, the better it becomes. At this point, you wanna bring it up to a simmer. Add about a quarter cup of heavy cream. It's gonna add a nice richness to the dish. freshly grated Parmesan cheese because uh, let's be honest everything tastes better with cheese then we're gonna go ahead and cover that let it simmer for one to four hours while we do that we're gonna get started on a ricotta mixture going in with some sour cream and some ricotta I'm gonna be completely honest I'm not a huge fan of ricotta which is why I cut it a bit with the sour cream I find that it uh, makes a delicious flavor when combined together Going in with some Parmesan cheese as well. The key for this is to definitely taste as you go. I'm adding some Italian seasoning here, some fresh basil, salt, pepper, garlic, and onion powder. Make sure to taste this before you add your one egg that my cameraman forgot to include in the edit, but you can kind of see it in there right now. The next step is to chop up some fresh mozzarella. We're gonna dice that into bite-sized pieces that we're gonna layer throughout the lasagna. Some nice cheesy chunks. Just chop them up into small bite-sized cubes as you see there. Then boil your lasagna noodles. Check on your pasta sauce. And now it's time to make lasagna. Go ahead and ladle a thin layer of sauce at the bottom and then make sure that your lasagna noodles fit your, your pan that you're using. One layer of noodles, another thin layer of sauce. A 
spread it around so that it's nice and even. Then we're going in with that ricotta cheese mixture. Again, a nice thin layer. Spread it around as you see here, make sure it's nice and even. And then you go ahead and add in your mozzarella chunks. And then we're gonna repeat this process until our lasagna pan is full. Do not skip out on those mozzarella chunks. They really make a difference on this dish. One last layer of sauce. Another nice layer of mozzarella. And then finally, we're gonna to top it with some shredded Parmesan cheese. Feel free to use whatever cheese you like. Make sure to let your lasagna rest for at least one hour before you slice it. Otherwise, your filling is gonna ooze out everywhere. It'll still taste delicious, but you're not gonna get that beautiful money shot. Speaking of money shots, Take a look at that. There you have it, folks. That is my lasagna recipe. Hope you guys enjoy it. If you do, give me a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel, and as always, thank you for your support.